All right, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna play some chess against my buddy. Got white. Queen's pawn. Get a flank opening. I think he pulled this on me last time too. I think I'm just going to go f3. Try to lock down these dark squares. And continuing with the plan. These moves are always <clears throat> kind of weird for me to face these flanks. It seems like there's not really a standard or um, it's not like you always do the same thing against them because they're so flexible with the center pawns. Um, I've never played actually in a tournament. I'd like to. Um, I mainly started playing again uh, this summer um, after watching some like, I don't know if you watched Jonathan Bartholomew, but really like his channel. That sort of got me inspired to play again. I played in college for like a year, maybe a little more, but nothing serious. So, an early castle for me. This d5 move is interesting. <clears throat> Normally, you would think it locks in the light squared bishop, but it's so early that it'll probably open up again. Pretty unique way of playing for Circa Survivor, I think. Probably going for an early E or C pawn push. I guess I want to get my bishop somewhere. Is there anything wrong with f4? Not so sure about that move. Maybe just d2, hoping for e4 myself. That would open up his light squared bishop, though. I just didn't see a good spot for my dark squared bishop. Staking out space on the queen side. I wonder if I just proceed as planned with rook e1. Pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes. I don't think he'd want to take with the bishop, but if he did, he would give me an... Well, it wouldn't even be an isolated pawn, so... I think I'm okay. I'm also okay with him pushing c4. I feel like those pawns might be overextended, potentially. Although it is a lot of space for him.
Let's see. I can definitely do this push if I want to. No, I can't. Not not enough attackers yet. Maybe just Queen C two being persistent. Castles. Now my knight's looking a little bit embarrassed here on, on d2, admittedly. Let's move it. Kind of weird looking move, but it wasn't doing much where it was. I wanted to open up the dark squared bishop. It's opened up, but I still don't know what to do with it. <clears throat> Maybe even something slow like bishop d2, then queen c1. Trade off the dark squared bishops. Wonder what my pawns on the queen side should be doing too. I don't know what the rook's doing there on the c-file. Is it going to become opened? If he takes, I see. He's hoping to break through because this plan is d takes, pawn takes would open up the queen, but I can retake with my knight. That would be bad, so I don't think I really have to address that. Maybe here. That seems reasonable. This is good because now I can create my battery on d2 and bring a rook to the c file. That would escape the pin and also create the battery, which is what I wanted to do to start off. goes in basically hoping to get my to win my dark squared bishop which would be a good win for for him considering his strong finchetto finchetto dark squared bishop Also opens up another attacker. On the D, D4 square. But still not enough attackers to win anything. I need to speed up. Concession to have to 
make this trade, but I didn't see another way out of it. Definitely taking with the knight. Now I want to latch down on the e5 square. At any point, I can move this knight back to f3. Probably knight f3 and fd2 are good possibilities. Hmm. Not sure what it's doing there. I'm just going to improve this knight. Oh, I see. He's just looking for active squares. Hmm. My pawn's pinned to my queen. I need to be wary of that. Not sure if there's any real threat with that move, other than just getting all his pieces to the king's side. No knight h3. It was probably some weird non-standard thing. Trying to open things up. Just going to take this. No time to think anymore, really. I think I want <clears throat> knight d4 next. I don't think he can kick it out, and I don't think he wants to take it. Because that would give me a nice strong pun structure in the center. Those bishops are looking mighty strong for him, though. But I think that was bad, because now I threaten e7. going. <clears throat> yeah, just a blender. Oof. I'll show you the opening for a second. Yeah, anyways, 
<clears throat> new game, rematch. Definitely felt like he probably had an advantage before time pressures came. I'm going to play Scandinavian. Thank you. The D8 variation is the only one I know. I'd like to learn the A5 variation too. I think I, I don't think that's the right order of moves. This might become weird. I'm pretty tempted to take with a G pawn and try to castle queenside. Let's do it. Why not? Idea Bishop G six Pawn E six <laughs> Little janky. Yeah, pawn e6 first. I want to be able to meet uh, d5 with a capture. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm just going to go all the way back. All my pawns are defended. What a clever guy. Hmm. I mean, This is really weird. <laughs> I mean, c2 was hanging, but I felt like I didn't want to let him take with the bishop. e6, my pawn is pinned by the queen. So I really have no idea what's going on here. I'm just going to develop really weirdly. Probably rook e2, e1 for him. And then castles for me. Castle's okay? I think so. I kind of predict he takes on e6. It just seems like such a thing for him to do. 
I see. Attacking a7, preparing a knight b5. But what about... He can take, but then I can take the bishop. He's got check, a8. My king runs to the center. It gets really weird. So the bishop retreats. Still have no good way to defend this pawn. I'm going to try something. Hmm. Yeah. Idea being if he takes the knight c4, threatening mate. And if pawn b3, then I have a3, followed by b2 mate. C4, so does this not work? I'm going to try it. It's pretty cool if it works. So one of the problems that with the a7 was a8, d7, then bishop, b5, I guess. I don't know. So many things to calculate. It's nice that my light squared bishop is here lingering on this c2 pawn. Not a, that it necessarily helps cause so I'm definitely happy to trade off that piece Would definitely like to get my bishop, my dark squared bishop involved too. Maybe b4. Not sure where that knight's going. 
possibly just gonna do it possibly to d2 Knight d2, queen c6. I know knight d2, I can take the pawn. Interesting move. How about this? Shift my focus. If I could somehow get this rook fourth rank. Does that help? Hmm. I'm just going to take the pawn and see what happens. only move. Let's just hold things together. Check. No, not that. And he got, he can double attack. This is too intense. I can't really talk while I do it. I shouldn't lose all my time, though. hope he walks into something. Yeah, this is looking good now. My two bishops are, they've got a lot of territory of their own. Not to mention I'm threatening to take and then take this a pawn. think there's any checks with that knight. Yikes. 
Wasser. Mm. Yeah, that's the one, right? So fast. No, whoops. Not really sure what I should be doing. Oops. Definitely not that. <laughs> hmm. It's probably lost now. I don't know what that was. Somehow that was a blunder. But what to do now? This is probably a drawn end game. Mm. I have to move back. don't know what you should be doing. If we exchange, okay. No, this is just a draw, right? I don't think I can win this. We'll see if he can figure it out. Yeah. It's a... It's a draw. G2 is the move. Yeah, I'll give it to him. He proved his point. Yeah, you're right. I think the Rook and Pawn endgame was probably already a draw anyways.
<laughs> Crazy game, though.